What if a Muslim woman wants to marry a non-Muslim man? It's haram. It's not permissible. Okay. Uh, and the same for a Muslim man. He is not allowed to marry mushriks, meaning idol worshippers. As Muslim men, we are allowed to marry Jewish women, Christian women, and some say, um, so in, it's called, they're called magians. They were like kind of fire worshippers. So there's categories Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us that we can marry. But for both men and women, Muslim men and women, they're not allowed to marry idol worshippers. If a non-Muslim and a Muslim marry, let's say, in a legal sense, yes, does that mean you wouldn't class them as a serious Muslim or...? If a Muslim woman marries a non-Muslim man, they are committing sexual immorality. There is no marriage. It, from the get-go, the contract is invalid. She is not allowed to marry him. She's married to him, she's in constant sexual immorality. She's just committed. It's, it's, it's a, it's so that you, you wouldn't acknowledge that? Not me. Not me. God Almighty says this is not a marriage. Now, a Muslim man marrying a Christian woman or a Jewish woman, that is a marriage, but some scholars say that she has to be chaste. So you cannot marry a non-virgin Christian or Jew. Okay. Some say, but there's a difference of discussion. So you, you can do that. But for both Muslim men and Muslim women, they are both not allowed to marry idol worshippers. Like let's say a Hindu. We cannot marry a Hindu.